here we are in the epicenter of the festival, Krishna's Village of Peace. There's over one million people here, but as you look around this particular part of the event, you see a good number of the kids have congregated here. And for a good reason, because Krishna consciousness is all attractive. And they've come for various reasons to our, to our village. Uh, a lot of kids come here for the, for the food, for the prasadam. They're just telling me over and over again, you know, how delicious it is and this is the place they eat. There's a lot of food stands at the festival, but we, our, our food is quite inexpensive and it, it, it tastes great. And a lot of kids are into, you know, natural, simple lifestyle. They like vegetarian food. A lot of them are vegans. So we're distributing vegan food. They really like it. One kid told me I was distributing prasadam there at the prasadam tent. And he, he came by and he, he gave him the plate and he tasted a little halibut and a big smile came over his face. He said, you know, I've been waiting all year for that taste. <laughs> giving him a taste of Krishna consciousness. It, let's be quite straightforward. People come to events like this to, to be happy to and to enjoy. But the real formula of happiness is on the spiritual platform, on the transcendental platform. So we have, we have the best food. The recipes are great. It's vegetarian, it's non-violent, and it has that special extra ingredient, the bhakti. It's prepared in devotion for for the spiritual master, for Siddha Prabhupada and, and for Krishna. So they don't catch it maybe immediately, but they, they realize there's something special there. So you can see behind me these long lines. I mean, it's just tens of thousands of kids coming through our event. Really, we're part of the Greater Woodstock event, but we're giving, adding something special to the Greater Woodstock event with Krishna's Village of Peace. Great philosophy, great food, great association. Uh, great singing, uh, great dancing, people come to Woodstock for the music. But what better music could there be than just that simple song, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
we're here we really as servants of the people, you could say, to facilitate giving them what Lord Chaitanya said was that the taste for which they're always hankering for. And that's Krishna consciousness, because any material experience, even the highest material experience, happiness that you can enjoy, will be frank, it has a beginning and an end. But kids come here year after year after year because the taste of Krishna consciousness is ever fresh. And we do it through kirtan, we do it through prasadam distribution. Um, we have our questions and answers tent. And every year we find that the quality of the people is higher. And they really come looking for, for answers to the questions of life. And they crowd into our questions and answers tents. And I, I kind of see that from there they go to the book tent and they buy Sridhar Prabhupada's books. They want to take this experience home with them. They want to think about it after they leave. So they'll come here. And um, if they don't immediately come into the event, we have our Ratha Yatra parade. There's only one main avenue leading through these grounds here. One million people, there's one avenue that's going through. And this year they've restricted the cars out of security reasons for coming in. There's only really a few cars, food trucks that can go in at this stage of the festival, bringing different goods and everything. But there's no restriction on Lord Chaitanya's movement and the uh, Ratha Yatra festival that we take through the main thoroughway. kids here. How could they not here? We're going out four hours a day with Ratha Yatra on the one street that cuts through the festival chanting and dancing. A million kids hearing the Maha Mantra, 150,000 tasting a full big plate of delicious, nutritious, tasty uh, prasadam. Thousands of books are going out and a lot of friendships. A lot of these kids, they, they know us from the years before. People come up and shake my hand and they say in, in Polish, Cinque Barzo, Cinque Barzo. Just thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and giving us this opportunity. You know, you look around, you see that they're all here. We try to make it just like the spiritual world. People come in and they feel the atmosphere here. This is a lot of kids, you know, they're, they're drinking, yes. No drugs, no violence. That's the mood of this event. But they come here, but it's the atmosphere that they experience, that transcendental atmosphere. They're elevated to Sudhasattva, by the association of devotees, by Kirtan, by Prashadam. This is Woodstock, uh, 2017. We never imagined that we could go beyond our goals, but we've exceeded our goals this year. We're very happy, and we take every item of success, every plate 
Prasadam distribute every kirtan, every Ratha Yatra, every questions and answers, every kid who comes here and gets a favorable impression. We take all of that and like uh, the petals of a lotus flowers, we offer that at the feet of our Divine Master, Srila Prabhupada, and thank him for this uh, golden opportunity, this precious opportunity to be able to serve him in our humble way in spreading the message of Krishna consciousness in the Western world. And we ask him for the blessings that we might be able to do this birth after birth after birth. Thank you, Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare.